A very good morning to you and welcome to the news at 7. I am Iberi Uguna. The headlines this morning, ABS Film Academy kicks off second phase of a three-month certificate course in film and media productions. Stakeholders call for autonomy of vehicle inspection officers. National Assembly yet to fix dates for consideration of INEX budget. And the foreign scene this morning, car crash outside Britain's house of leave pedestrian injured. And now details of the news, the Anambra Broadcasting Service Film Academy has kicked out the second phase of its three-month certificate course in film and media production in Orca. Correspondent Chibuzo Bidike has the details. The students will be trained in various fields of studies, including acting, cinematography, editing, script writing, makeup, animations, broadcast journalism and graphic design, among others. At the end of the training, they are expected to produce a 30-minute film that will be submitted internationally for onward review and competition. Declaring the course open, the managing director and chief executive officer of Anambra Broadcasting Service, who is also director of the academy, Nze Uche Nwora, congratulated the students for their decision to be productive in the society. He acknowledged that the birth of the academy is in line with Governor William Biano's vision of creative economy in empowering young people. The director, who was represented by the director of the academy, Mr. Pascal Osubo, restated the academy's commitment in grooming youths in various skill acquisitions as well as take them off the streets. The desire to impact knowledge to the people out there that have not gotten a skill, a handwork to do, the desire to take people off the streets and give them something meaningful to start doing was in us and that is what actually brought about the ABS Film Academy. While expressing their willingness to graduate with merit awards, considering the quality nature of the scheme of work, a student of editing class, Mr. Tony Egwongo, and another for script writing, Mrs. Ngozi Odeniwe, advised youth to enroll into the academy for the actualization of their God-given talents. This is a kind of a talent promotion business. So anyone who has a talent should come here to develop it. I'm one of the students. I'm telling you, everything you are learning is not going to end here. Because life will not end here. It will be a stepping stone to what you want to achieve in life. Club of Orchestra Central, in partnership with the Number State Ministry of Environment, Beautification and Ecology, have taken a giant leap in the battle against degradation and erosion by planting up open spaces in strategic parts of Orca with trees. The tree planting project, which started from Aroma Junction through the access road leading to Dr. Alex Equimer Square, attracted many Rotarians. Correspondent Ogochiko Keke has more on this. Speaking to ABS after the exercise, the president, Rotary Club of Oka Central, District 914 to Nigeria, Rotarian John Emegako, said that Rotary Club all over the world were mandated to embark on tree planting campaign in their various states to enhance sustainability of the planet. Mrs. Emegako highlighted the importance of trees to human lives as well as ways to improve tree planting in the state. We are keying in into the Rotary project of planting one tree per member, one tree per person, to help sustain the environment. We've planted over 45 for now, but the rest will be done, you know, after now. The president-elect Rotary Club of Oka Central, District 914 to Nigeria, Dr. To Chukumbachi, urged the Anambra to key into the exercise to check erosion and restore the ecosystem as well as protect the ozone layer. We can see how many trees we cut down by you know, development. So we need to replace those trees. You know, protect yeah, the yeah. environment, the ozone layer, and so many things. Erosion is a way to use to protect the environment. The managing director, Legion Park and Street Beautification, Lady Fia Togo, explained that the state government gave Rotary Club approval to sponsor the tree planting, protect and maintain it for eight months. She said horticulturists in the ministry will source for certified plants, supervise and take over from them after the eight months. The Rotary Club have mandated every member of theirs to plant a tree in their vicinity. Um, this helps in uh, beautifying Anambra State, and that's what our governor wants, and I'm happy they are doing it. In Oka, Ogotupu Okeke reports in Fabius News. The State Commissioner for Basic Education, Professor Kate Emanuel, has charged women to be actively involved in nation building. 
addressing members of the Catholic Women Organization, CWO, at Nobi. Professor Amenua said no nation survives without meaningful contribution from the women folk. Correspondent Teofilos Okoha completes the report. Amenua advised the women to always support the Obiano-led administration, which has impacted positively on the lives of the Anambra. She stressed the need for all to obtain their PVC to enable them vote in future elections. What I'm a community by one of four is I am one of the three back. The Gawai Kone, school I went to China, I went back to Tutu. When they are one, 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 also speaking, Commissioner for Culture, Tourism and Diaspora Affairs, Mrs. Steli Mbanefu, who commended the women for coming home in mass for the August meeting, explained various initiatives of the state government towards promoting Ibu rich cultural heritage and enhancing the tourism potential that abound in the state. Mrs. Mbanefa encouraged them to key into the platforms made available through her ministry to promote Igbo language and culture, stressing that the last lap of the Obian administration is packed with people-oriented programs to take the state to higher pedestal. <laughs> Because this four years is for go all of that year that we put all of because I would find out four commissioners of the legacy four years. And you have legacy commissioners. Now when I'm a city of twenty years, I'm not gonna almost here and you pull your book, will you be no? Can you make a or will you be no? Can you mostly or will you be no? If any day my young rap legacy. And now you have these two soldiers. Oh why can you know how much this year when I got the president, Catholic Women Organization, St. Paul Catholic Church Nobi, Lady Grace Uche, in a remark, said the women have mobilized and contributed money to promote church activities as well as establish mutual understanding among them. Songs and dancing by the women form the high point of the event. Theophilus Okoha reporting for ABS News. A media strategic review meeting for a number of vehicle inspection officers has ended in Oka with calls for the autonomy of the department and resolution of duplication of duties with sister agencies for effectiveness and generation of revenues for the state. Correspondent David Walkersley was at the meeting and reports that the training is part of the reforms going on in the road traffic management in the state. His report efforts in driving safety on Anambra roads, the vehicle inspection office was in total comatose, but recently, with an ultra-modern state-of-art vehicle inspection bay comprising of computerized facilities, it has become a new phase for the office, hence the need for capacity development of officers. The senior special assistant to the Governor on Public Transport and General Supervisor for the VIO functions in the state, Mr. Rafael Okoye, said the review meeting was to assess the activities of the office so far and re strategize for better results. Ms. Okoye noted that the capacity development of the officers is a sine qua non in achieving the target of the office in the state through boosting their morale and being properly equipped with what is their functions in line with the law so as to become a reference point in road safety management. Anything to anybody in the field, no, make an official report to headquarters. If you do that, you will pick up that person, arrest and charge you to court immediately. Of course. Because once you charge you to court immediately, your case has started. And all the evidences will be provided. 
department. With such persons at the training, Prince Fidelis Nade and Mr. Olisa Nyono decry the duplication of duties of agencies involved in road management both at state and federal levels, stating that such duplication affects revenues that are supposed to go to the state government and therefore advocated the harmonization of those functions. They also called for a full-fledged autonomy of the VIO and the intensive sensitization of members of the public to be better equipped. Your function is that one, you have to look at the life of the people that probably will be your own brothers, your own sisters, and that vehicle is uh, moving like this. You say no, allow him. No, you pick him up. Whether on the highway, your duty is that whether it is on the highway, you don't allow that vehicle to move. It involves a lot. It's a, it's, it's, it's a big one because you are doing, you are doing, you are not going to do hacking for you are going to be doing uh, uh, road funding you know, VT, you are going to be doing uh, driver's test and all that stuff. But it's not too monumental that you can't, you can't, you can't handle it. Trip. Interactive session by participants at the meeting on the best way forward formed the climax of the training. In Orca, this is David Obokase reporting Fabius News. And away from that, the need for man to reconcile with God has been emphasized. This formed the focus of a sermon delivered at the valedictory service for the students of Chapel of the Holy Spirit, Wafo Riza College of Education in Sube, an Amber East Council area. Njideka Okoi was there for the ABS and now reports. Delivering the sermon, the Archdeacon and Chaplain, Chapel of the Holy Spirit of the College, Venerable Charles Chukura, charged the students to be good ambassadors of Christ wherever they might find themselves. He urged them not to be conformed of the world, but should be channels of solution to the challenges of social vices among youths. In the society. Venerable Chukura enjoined them to show the light of the gospel in their daily endeavors, both in character, disposition, and actions, urging them to always stand for the truth, live a sincere life, and preach the gospel of salvation despite all odds. The Archdeacon, who advised them to learn skills to maximize their God given potentials and become employers of labor, commended them for their commitment and dedication throughout their state in the college. The students whose joy knew no bound later poured out their hearts to God for making them actualize their dreams through praises and thanksgiving. <laughs> The curate, Reverend Chukwemeka Ozoma, visiting priests, Reverend Canons, Abraham Obiekeze and Chukwemeka Aloto, who were among the priests that officiated at the service, advised the students to be of good conduct and promote the ideals of the college. The valedictory service featured prayers for the students and presentations. From Nsube, Njideka, Okoye, ABS News. And moving on to our national stories, the leadership of the National Assembly has revealed that they are yet to fix a date for the reconvening of the legislative chambers for the consideration of the Independent National Election Commission budget. A statement signed by the media advisor of Senate President and Speaker Yusuf Olaniyonu and Turaki Hazan reads that Senate President Dr. Abubakar Bukola Saraki and Speaker House of Representatives Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara have directed that a date has not been set for the reconvening of the Senate and the House of Representatives to consider the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC 2019 elections budget request forwarded by President Muhammad Buhari. It had been agreed that the National Assembly will reconvene to consider the proposal this week, before which a meeting between the Joint Senate and House of Representatives committees on electoral matters and officials of the INEC must have held on or before Monday, August 13, 2018. Since no such meeting took place, the NAS will not reconvene as there is no report to consider. The Joint Committees was also expected to meet with the Joint Senate and House Committees on appropriations, loans and debts on the Eurobond loan request, after which two reports would have been ready for presentation in the two chambers. The statement adds until the committees have a ready report for the consideration of the two chambers, it will be most irresponsible to recall members from recess, especially those that may have traveled to Saudi Arabia for the Hajj. 
An inmate at the Nigerian prison service, Amobia Mr. Jude Onwuzulike, has been enrolled in a master's degree program at the National Open University of Nigeria. Ekwe Ajide was at a matriculation program held in his honor at the prison's headquarters, Amobia. Her report. Onwuzulike, who has spent six years of his life imprisonment, had a Bachelor of Science in Accountancy from the Nnamdi Azikiwe University, Oka, and a Bachelor of Education in Mathematics from the University of Nigeria, Suka, before being jailed. The inmate said he chose to pursue information technology so as to be able to correct what he referred to as the lacuna he noticed in his judgment in court. I saw some lapses there. I saw your education mathematics. I now say, since I noticed your lapses, say, somebody needs to correct it. I should study information technology. Because whenever I'm carrying an investigation of something, I will do it, I will do it in depth investigation. Mr. Amos Lake, who hails from Unteje in Oyi local government area, said he is not deterred by the situation he finds himself. In an interview, the state controller of prisons, Mr. Iman Wakeze, said giving opportunity to inmates to study is one of the reformatory measures in the prison. The present administration of the prison, led by the Rajan of Prison, Haji Jafaru Ahmed, is compassionate on how to make these inmates engage them properly. So that at the end it will, it will be useful. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Abdallah Obadamu, who was represented by the Director of Orca Study Center, Dr. Scholastica Ezeribe, said they were elated that inmates are taking advantage of the institution's free scheme for them. While the Deputy Controller of Prisons in charge of Amobia Prisons, Mr. Andrew Ejenam, encouraged other inmates to emulate those already taking advantage of the National Open University's free educational schemes. My desire and the desire of the entire management of national university in Nigeria is to see inmates, more of them, get enrolled into this group. Our Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdallah, he is passionate about this group. And moving on to the foreign scene, a number of pedestrians were injured when a car crashed into barriers outside Britain's Houses of Parliament on Tuesday with armed forces swapping in to arrest the driver, Scotland Yard said. A police statement said the male driver of the car was detained by officers at the scene but did not say if they suspected terrorism, calling it only a collision. Reports say armed police immediately surrounded the silver car after it crashed, pointing guns at the driver as he was removed from the vehicle. Later, images showed police holding the man dressed in jeans and a black puffer jacket in handcuffs as roads around Parliament were sealed off. Westminster was the scene of a terror attack last year where Khalid Massoud, a 52-year-old British convert to Islam, drove a car at pedestrians on a bridge over the River Thames before fatally stabbing a policeman on guard outside Parliament. The attack left five people dead and around 50 injured and only ended when police shot Massoud dead. And that's it on ABS Television News at 7. But remember that you can listen to news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by logging onto our website, www.absradiotv.com. Like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash ABS Radio Television. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS Radio TV. And just before we go this morning, the headlines again, ABS Film Academy has kicked out second phase of its three-month certificate course in film and media productions. Stakeholders have called for autonomy of vehicle inspection officers. National Assembly is yet to fix date for the consideration of independent National Electoral Commission's budget. And on the four insane car crash outside Britain's House of Parliament has left pedestrians injured. And that's it on ABS Television News this morning. Many thanks for watching. I'm Iberi Ugunna.